Good morning, good afternoon and good evening to all denarians on the go and in the know, like subscribe, and share to help support the channel. First article of interest for today, Finance, defines one way to impose compulsory savings on salaries in Iraq. The Parliamentary Finance Committee expressed, on Monday, its rejection of the government's resort to compulsory savings and prejudice to the salaries of employees, noting that this matter is not implemented except with the approval of Parliament. The committee's rapporter, Ahmed al-Safar Shafak News, said, the government does not have the ability to implement the compulsory savings proposal and prejudice the salaries of employees without referring to the House of Representatives, noting that such a proposal needs to be studied and approved by Parliament before its implementation. He added that there are other means before the government that can be used to avoid the crisis, which are borrowing and internal loans from the central bank, banks, pension fund and financial abundance in the general budget law. Al Safar pointed out that it is possible through this approach to solve the crisis and the economic problem in the country, stressing that the employee's salary is not sufficient for the head of the month, and by this the government cannot prejudice the salaries of employees. And increased talk in the recent days about the fate of salaries of employees and retirees in Iraq, which is estimated at millions after oil prices fell below levels after a decrease in demand for it due to the outbreak of the coronavirus in most countries of the world. Iraq's economy is classified as a rentier economy, as it depends more than 90% of its imports on its oil and gas exports. Economists have previously warned against following this policy. But successive governments have ruled the country after 2003, unable to find appropriate solutions to multiple resources. Next article of interest, Parliamentary Finance, Proposals to Save 25% of Employee Salaries After the Arrival of the 2020 Budget in Parliament. The Parliamentary Finance Committee revealed, on Monday, many proposals and scenarios in the House of Representatives to secure the salaries of employees after the budget reached it, indicating that one of them required to save 25% of their salaries spent at a later time. Member of the Finance Committee Hainan al Kadu told the information that the salaries of state employees are almost insured, but there are fears of a continuous decline in oil prices. He added that, there are several proposals put forward in the House of Representatives that will be discussed and work with one of them after the arrival of the 2020 budget to the House of Representatives. al Kiddo said that, one of the proposed proposals is to print the currency along the lines of the previous system, but it is an option perhaps far because it leads to market inflation, high material prices and the exchange rate of the dinar against the dollar. He stated that, the other option offered is to save 25% of the employees' salaries compulsorily and be placed in a special fund designated for them to spend them at a later time after the price of oil has stabilized, noting that, saving does not include employees whose salaries are 500,000 dinars or less. Next article of interest. The price of U.S. crude collapses by more than 306% and amounts to minus $37. The price of a barrel of American oil fell sharply during Monday's trading, by more than 306 percent, recording the lowest level in its history. Reuters reported that U.S. crude futures tumbled 306 percent as the price of a barrel was $37.63 below zero, by 1834 GMT. This is the lowest level recorded by U.S. crude, West Texas Intermediate, in history. Brent crude futures fell 9.2% to $25.43 a barrel. And U.S. oil futures turned to the earliest benefit during trading, today, Monday for the first time in history, with crude storage tanks full, which discourages buyers, while weak economic data from Germany and Japan cast doubt on the date of recovering fuel consumption. With the actual depletion of oil demand, a global glut has emerged in the supply while billions of people around the world still need their homes to slow the spread of the new coronavirus. Experts attributed the decline to the decline in demand for crude due to the spread of the coronavirus, and the proximity of U.S. oil depots to fullness. 
the collapse in the oil market comes amid a state of economic stagnation due to the repercussions of the spread of the coronavirus and the measures taken to combat it. The International Monetary Fund warns that getting the world's economies into a downward spiral will be the deepest since the Great Depression of the 1930s. Next article of interest. The Ministerial Council of Economy holds an emergency session to discuss the implications of the financial situation and low oil prices. The Ministerial Council of Economy held today, Monday. An emergency session, headed by the Deputy Prime Minister for Economic Affairs and Minister of Finance Fuad Hussein and the presence of Hassan Karim al kabi the first Deputy Speaker of the House of Representatives. The meeting was attended by the head of the Parliamentary Finance Committee, Haytham al Jubari, the head of the Energy Committee, Hibit al Halbausi, and the head of the Economy and Investment Committee, Ahmed al Kanani, and a number of ministers and advisors. During the meeting, according to the statement of al Abbas media office, of which the al News received a copy, they discussed the repercussions of the financial and economic situation and an unprecedented drop in oil prices, and taking supportive and urgent decisions to combat the corona epidemic and reducing its seriousness, as well as preventive measures that are associated with a ban total and partial roaming. The Economic Council issued a number of decisions and measures that reduce the risk of low oil prices, which threaten the country's food security, salaries and efforts to combat the emerging corona epidemic. Next article of interest. U.S. Congress pushes digital dollar for UBI payments and COVID-19 stimulus bill. The U.S. Congress published another COVID-19 bill titled Automatic Boost to Communities Act or ABC Act and it included the digital dollar. In March, previous bills from Democrats and the Senate also suggested the use of digital dollars to distribute immediate cash relief. The new bill demands the same. First, it proposed a universal basic income, UBI, of $2,000 during the crisis and after the $1,000 per month for a year. The amount will be funded from the $2 trillion budget issued by the government. Real people, not corporations need to be at the center of any legislative relief effort to combat the harms caused by this global pandemic. Too many of our workers, low-income people and families across the country were instantly impacted and we need to have an aggressive and inclusive financial assistance program, said Congresswoman Rashida Tlaib. As for the distribution, the bill proposes to make multiple payment routes including direct bank account payments or boost prepaid debit cards. It also suggested a digital dollar wallet that should be available by January. The digital dollar wallet is branded, Fed account, and would be available at local banks and post offices with zero fees. It will also be accessible via mobile banking and ATMs. The digital dollar cash wallets or e-cash wallets can receive e-cash and are compatible with Fed accounts. The bill also suggested the creation of the Digital Financial Privacy Board to ensure that the digital cash retains the same anonymity as physical cash. The digital dollar wallet should not be confused with the Digital Dollar Foundation initiated by former chair of the Commodity Futures Trading Commission, CFDC, J. Christopher Giancarlo who believed that the country needs a central bank digital currency, CBDC. In a previous interview, David Dreit from Accenture, partner of the Digital Dollar Foundation, said they were not involved or consulted about the bills. Meanwhile, China has been working for its own CBDC jet recently, the first look of its CBDC wallet leaked online. Based on the photo, users have four payment options and can manage their funds link wallet to other accounts, and review all their transactions. Like subscribe and share to help support the channel. Check out the Denarian blog, Facebook and Twitter as I post important daily updates on these platforms throughout the day as well. The links to these and other invaluable sites are in the description box below. Knowledge is power, using that knowledge, is powerful. Over and out for now, the Denarian.